Welcome back to another video, guys. Today I got uh, quite the treat in store for you guys. I'm going to be playing Gwen in Grandmaster Elo, um, new champion. She's very fun to play, actually, uh, and I'll explain everything about her kit in just a moment. We'll be versing Lissandra, and we're gone to jungle. Seems to be a pick that's popped up recently after the patch changes. Anyways, let me start uh, to explain her build and her abilities and all that. Um, I'm gonna try Phase Rush this game. I think Gwen will probably be running f either Phase Rush or Conquer. I'm not 100% sure yet, um, but I'm testing Phase Rush. Um, I feel like Conquer might be the standard, um, but her first two items will always basically be Nasher's Tooth and Riftmaker. Uh, the order in which you get them probably depends on matchup. Because I'm versus a ranged champion, I'll probably go Riftmaker first. Her passive is on hit damage, and she heals for 70% of the on hit damage, and it's based off max health, and it scales with AP. Her Q is, I'll just show you, bam, it's a snip. The more you auto, uh, four stacks, you can get up to four stacks, um, and then you'll, you'll know exactly what I mean soon. Um, you'll be able to do more damage with it. Her W is basically Fizz E for five seconds. Um, yeah, uh, this is ridiculous as it sounds. Um, Basically, if they're outside of the circle, the indicator, they can't damage you, they can't target you, they can't CC you. So you're forced to duel with Gwen in the circle, or else uh, or else you won't do damage to her. And then her E is just a dash, and also gives her 100 bonus attack range, um, some 40% to 80% attack speed, depending on rank, and on hit damage. And then her ulti is like Irelia ulti, but you can aim it basically. Um, I think that's the most thing it's most similar to. Okay. So probably... As you can see, she, I was in W range, but she never hit me. She wasn't in uh, my circle. It didn't do any damage to me. It didn't CC me. It didn't do anything to me. I'm going to go ahead and get a ward here. I think usually you get W second or maybe E. Um, most range matchups you'll probably end up getting W second. I think the trading pattern is mostly with your W. Also, her E, her dash, you can cast that um, while you're pressing Q. So let me show you real quick. Just like that. Also, I forgot to mention, but my W, it also moves with me just like that if I move out of it. But you can only do that once. And also, your W gives you 20 armor and MR base, and it scales with AP. So you get tank stance for free, basically. I have cleanse, so it's really hard for them to gank me. I don't have W, so that kind of sucks. They already got Scuttle. Not too much to be done here, Shaco. I think you should just farm your Krugs. And now I'm in a phase where I'm kind of poked out. Can't really do too much. She has Ignite, by the way. I'm gonna need health resetting. Definitely Gwen's, one of Gwen's weakest parts is her laning phase. It's pretty hard, actually. Especially with mage matchups. She might be more of a top laner, actually. team. They're gonna help me base and get me out of here. Alright, nice. So, Lissandra's gonna have a bit of a level lead up on me. But other than that, we should be fine. I have so much AP damage, actually. It's kind of crazy. I think I might just get, uh... What's it called? Mercury Treads. Move speed is really important on this champion, that's why I'm testing out Phase Rush. I'm 
Walking back to mid. Yeah, I should hit level 6 on this wave. Most mid laners always hit 6 around 540 on the game. You'll notice that her wave player is kind of weak because her Q does percentage max health damage. Um, and minions aren't known for having a lot of max health, so my wave player is kind of struggling a bit. I can always base again if I want. Doesn't really hurt. Some attack speed. Uh, actually, do I want attack speed? Eh, too late. I already bought it. I'll build that into Nasher's Tooth eventually, anyways, but I feel like I kind of want Rift Maker first. Rocket Bill might also be okay. Don't know where Lissandra is. So my team has to watch out in case she looks for a gang somewhere. Just as a reminder, you can Q and then you can E, so you can get the damage off. They're definitely looking for something. I gotta head down there. Yeah. Oh, MF loses a wave. If Shaco was down there, I could also uh, help a lot more. Oh, also, one thing I forgot to mention is her her E reduces cooldown if you use it, and then you auto. So look, 12 seconds, bam, now it's back to, down to 5. Pretty good. I have a roam timer here, I can probably go top side. Yeah, we're definitely gonna fight this. want to be a part of the play, you know. But that is what my ult looks like. It's just, uh, you can recast it two more times. It does more damage each time you cast it. It's basically an Irelia ult that you can aim. It also slows, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. Hey, now I can purchase. We'll probably look in the base and probably start building towards that Rift Maker. Eh? I think health is nice. She's far too squishy if you don't build um defensive, but she does so much damage later on. She definitely scales with items more. Like her her base damage is not that great. I think um it, it's good like level ones to three, but after that I feel like it's kind of. Kinda lacking. Like each snip does 18 extra damage, which is kinda meh. Well, oh, I'm coming, team. Hey, there's nothing to fight over, actually. Holy crap, that's a lot of words. My ulti up soon. Oh, something's going on over there. Oh, it looks like he's dead. Rock my phase rush there. Definitely had a lot of move speed going for me. We're gonna go back to lane here. I'm definitely just trying to scale up. Um, my my champion's really good in skirmishes, but getting trades off is kind of hard because they have to be in melee range. Obviously, um, I don't have too much range as a champion. Well, I can get that plate. 
And then probably just base. Under tower range. Yeah. Okay, I have two choices. I'll probably go Leeching Leer and Dark Dark Seal. It's good. Then I'll probably head on over to mid lane again. And as you can see, her her abilities don't cost too much mana aside from her ulti, and her W. But you're not going to be spamming those abilities, obviously. Know where Lissandra is, but I first touch on this wave, and I'll be able to look for a roam after this. Oh, there she is. Just use her Q. Yeah, it's hard to get in range, actually. At least my cooldowns are really short, right? The neat thing about Phase Rush is that it lets me like disengage after taking a trade. Uh, compared to Conquer, but Conquer does more damage overall. I'm not 100% sure which one's better yet, but I started out taking Conquer, um, and I don't think it's bad though. But I'm not 100% sure. Nice. I sniped her. Her ulti has a fucking huge ass range, by the way. You might notice. It's one of the good things about it. Alright, I'm gonna take my base. Not much I can really buy here, because I wanna get on towards Rift Maker ASAP. Actually, do I need it ASAP? I can probably just hold on to the Leeching Leer for a bit. Eh, we're safer off with the pink ward. It's fine. Pretty close to Rift Maker, anyways. I'd, I'd say the most important thing about playing Gwen is being very confident and knowing what your W allows you to do. Like, if people are not in range of you, they can't do anything to you. Like, you're essentially invincible. You know? How much sustain I have. I don't have cleanse or anything, so I kind of gotta chill. But I want this gold, so I'm gonna walk up. Alright, now I back up. Not sure why I, why I put that down, actually. We can fight, we can fight. Oh shit, maybe we can't fight. Ha! <laughs> oh, yikes, that's so awkward. We got teleported on by Mordekaiser, so... That really blows. pretty difficult for her to... Okay, so I think the issue there was they were all bunched up, right? And I had to be in melee range of all of them. So I think if like everybody's ready to just pounce on Gwen, um, then she's not going to have a fun time. But if the fight is chaotic and you're just diving their backline, they can't be like peeled unless they go into melee range of you because of your W. So I think that's my adaptation for the next fight. If they're all clumped up together, I'm not. I'm not gonna fight. Um, I'm gonna play it slow. Wait for them to be, um, you know, separated a bit. Base rush just lets me run out.
Ow. Painful, man, painful. I could get an all in on her. Be nice. Get stacks by using my E. You get first move almost always. Looks like they're fighting bot. Heading down. I should be able to do something. Nice. And this is exactly how I want to fight that. Just using my ulti. My ulti is a big part of my kit. So without it, I'm kind of not super strong. Uh, but with it, I'm pretty unstoppable, I'd say. This thing does uh, 500 damage overall if I can land every every single needle. Looks like they might have a kill. Maybe. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can base. I don't want to be here too long. Get my item. All right, I got Riftmaker. Harold's up in 40. Drake's up in two minutes. I'll be really strong for the Drake fight. Um, and you have to play this champion very mechanically well. You have to be positioning properly. You have to be just seeing what you can do to take advantage of the fights. So yeah, you got to be really smart with how you play and position yourself with this champion. See Lissandra heading over there. Oh, well, they're all down there. Hope I can make it there. Doesn't look like I can. Remember what I said about being smart, guys. Doesn't look like I can actually even do anything here in this fight. Unless they dive. Unless they dive my teammates. Yeah. I'm really easy to blow up, so can't really just go in, you know. They want to look for me. But they can't do anything to me. Gwen is immune. I'm just not targetable. Look, I'm literally standing in the pool, but it does no damage. Wow, look at that damage, actually. It's nuts. But, like I said, Karma, Karma is fucking near. And I just want to be really smart with how I use my, my abilities. I can do that because my W's up. They can't really go on me. I do a lot more damage to uh, champions than I do minions, by the way. Since my damage is like true damage and max health damage. You know, all that. It's really nuts. Each auto attack I do does 2% max health damage. Pretty crazy. Let's play for mid-prial, and then we can go... Uh... Okay, snippy snip. Looks like we can secure the Drake. Might be able to go for more um, around Draven's side. Yeah, I think we can, definitely. Draven should die here. So I want to start off with my R mostly. Damn, just look at that damage, guys. Absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Look at that. Just beautiful damage, guys. Like I said, I do a shit ton of damage, um, especially the champions. And Riftmaker helps me stay in those fights and be healthy enough to actually keep fighting, you know? I can probably get this wave. So everything about this champion is patience. Um, just knowing what you can do with your abilities, when and how. I'm just gonna leave now. Uh, I don't want to stick around too long. 
They should be back on the map soon. And now I'm gonna have Nashers. Um, really broken freaking item on this champion. Um, uh, like I said, her E gives attack speed, on hit damage. This her E is basically an Asher's tooth, basically, but without AP. And it's pretty nuts. Okay, now we go do our blue buff. Okay, so 65 plus 48, and that's already 100 damage. Uh, that's like freaking 110 damage, actually. And then I also do 3% max health damage on hit. And I can do up to 18% max health damage to enemy champions. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, we have people. Wait, you chose me to fight? You're gonna die. Oh shit, my health bar. Okay, we can probably Baron. Look at this. I'm gonna do so much damage to Baron too. Bam. Alright, and this is basically her core items. After that, you wanna get Zanya so you can dominate the fights more and stay alive. Staying alive is extremely important on this champion, guys. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, we'll take a look at the damage we dealt and all that. Uh, who did well? I think uh, I think this guy did pretty decent. Uh, and we just want to go ahead and see. Okay, uh, second most damage on the team. How much did I heal? 4.7k. That's not too bad. Uh, true damage dealt. Oh my god. I did... Wow, so this champ does a lot of true damage, guys. As you can see, I did 1.8k physical damage, which is obviously auto attacks, and then 35% um, freaking true damage, basically, and then the half is uh, AP damage. Um, yeah. And yeah, that was a Grandmaster game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned about Gwen's crit. I, I think she's very fun to play. As for the Phase Rush or Conqueror debate, I'm not 100% sure, but Phase Rush seemed okay that game. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!